Frey's team are preparing proceedings against you. I'm fighting for my life here. Whether Prince Andrew's guilty or not, it was the entitlement. He just couldn't help himself. What do I do? You do believe me, don't you? Michael, hi. My name is Ruben Peralta from Coca Lega Sanet. How are you? I'm very well. Lovely to meet you, Ruben. I'm a huge fan, man. Like, I love your work. I'm oh, really honored. Thank you. My question is you have played so many uh, characters in leadership Tony Blair three times, uh, David Frost, and, and now you have uh, Prince Andrew. Do you feel any responsibility how the audience is going to perceive these characters when you embody them? And um, because now this is a totally different character that you have portrayed in your career. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I, I suppose I don't really have any control over how the audience perceives them, but I do feel a great responsibility given that it's um, portraying a real person and real events. So when I first read the script, I have to, uh, at that point, I have to make a sort of a call really on whether I feel like it's being done responsibly and whether I kind of agree with, you know, what's being put across. Um, and I have to decide whether I trust the people involved, the team involved, um, uh, as to whether they will, you know, tell this story responsibly. Because once I agree to it and I'm going to play the character, then I have to forget about all that. You know, then it's about just trying to make this character as real uh, and as human as possible. And I'm looking for, you know, I'm looking for the light and shade and the the dark and the and the light of the character. Um, and so I kind of have to let go of all those ideas because I, I can't be bringing that into it. I'm just trying to make it as real as possible. And then, of course, when I watch it again at the end, you know, at the other end of the of the journey, then I kind of look at it and um, and hopefully it's, you know, we've created a, an engaging, complex story with real depth to it where it's not just a, you know, a hatchet job or a black and white thing. You know, it's it's much more nuanced than that, I hope. Um, but yes, it's that very early uh, decision that I make that's based on really the first reading of the script because you know it's affecting real people this. In terms of mindset as an actor it's, it's something different for you when you have to to do like a TV show than make a, a, a film feature because now this is a long episode it's a lot of mm. episodes versus just shooting a movie for I don't know how much how long period but then it's two hours but now we have to see a development of a, uh, mm. of, of a character like like Prince Andrew's and relationship with uh you know with the press and the person who's going to interview him yeah yeah well it's interesting isn't it because in a way uh, I mean it depends on the budget of the film obviously and the budget of the tv show but generally speaking um when you're doing a film you've got longer to spend on each scene when you're making it but the amount of time that scene takes up within the story itself is much shorter. So, you know, with a film, maybe, you know, 90 to 120 minutes to tell the story, you can tell a story in a very different way over three or four hours, you know, of a, of a, of a multi-episode TV show. And yet when you're making it, you know, when we're shooting the TV series, uh, when we're shooting the episodes of this, you know, you don't get to spend long on the scenes. You're, you're having to get a lot done through the day. Now, I quite like that. I, I quite like moving quite quickly through things. It keeps the spontaneity of it and the freshness of it for me. But I also really love the opportunity to tell a story and uh, and to play a character over a much longer period of time. So the story can breathe a bit, you know. When, you, when you're doing it in a film structure, you have to condense everything so much and do a sort of shorthand of storytelling a lot of the time. So I found the more that I've worked on, on more long form TV, long form storytelling, I've found it really sort of liberating in terms of how you can, what you can show about a character and how you can tell a character's story. Where I come from, we don't have reality. I'm from the Dominican Republic, so we are way far from having royalty. Right. But you grew up with this royalty. It, it, it feels different when you have to portray one of these people that you saw while you were growing up. Yes. Now, well, we have a very complicated relationship with royalty in this country. It depends on where you come from, really. <laughs> um, and the history of how that royalty is sort of interact, the royal, uh, the royals have interacted with your particular part of the, uh, the uh, of where you come from in, in Great Britain, United Kingdom. But yes, it's, you know, some people say it's the longest running soap opera that we have in this country. And, it, and it's true, you know, and a series like The Crown has sort of showed that in many ways as well. But... Um, it, what's what's 
uh, challenging with with portraying someone from the royal family is that on the one hand you have very controlled stuff that comes about them you know when i'm trying to look into researching the character there's very stage managed control images and stories that come out from the palace themselves and then there's really sort of gossip there's kind of behind the scenes gossip it's quite hard to get anything in between that you know um and so you there's a lot of guesswork that you have to make uh, about it and there's a lot of sort of trying to work out what's really going on there it's a bit of a hall of mirrors with the royal family and particularly with andrew because of the controversy around his relationship with with jeffrey epstein and the accusations of, of virginia jeffrey and um so there's this sort of mystery really with him as well i as an actor had to make choices about what i think he did or didn't do because i have to play him he you know the character i'm playing knows what he's done or not done so i had to make certain choices about it but you know in reality we don't know Michael, huge fan from the Dominican Republic. Thank you so much for your time. Ah, it's a pleasure. Lovely to speak to you, Ruben.